Hi everyone! Welcome to the Crafty Pixie channel where we do sewing and craft projects. I'm B. If you are new or old to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. It really, really means a lot to me. Thank you everyone who has subscribed. Thank you everyone who has watched the videos. Um, it's very, very exciting to to see that people are actually enjoying them. So thank you. Um, in today's video, we are going to be making this adorable clutch. I mean, it's it's so simple to do, but it makes such a statement. I mean, it is the I, I really, really like this one and I made it for myself. Um, and you actually, you hold it like this. Um, you do have an option where you can have a wrist strap if you wanted to, um, but I like being able to hold it like that. Um, it's a nice, good size inside. There's no pockets or anything. It's super easy to put a pocket in if you want to, um, but I just find it super easy to throw stuff in and do what I need to do with it. Um, one zipper, I mean, it's not crazy hard at all. Um, I found the pattern on Pinterest through the uh, Creative Bug blog. Um, and I, I, it was not too hard to follow. Um, sometimes I can completely space and have to read it like seven times <laughs> to get some of the simplest stuff. But that's just me. So, um, like I said, you can make this for, for anybody. It's super, super fun. Um, it didn't take me too long to do at all. Um, there are no pattern pieces. You have to measure and cut them out. Um, just fair warning on that one. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know when I upload every Wednesday at 9.15 a.m. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you. And give the video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get some materials and get started. For this project, you're going to need to cut the fabric per the measurements um, on the pattern. But you're going to need two exterior pieces, two interior pieces, I'm using uh, quilt cotton today. Then you're going to need two pieces for the bow. You're going to need two pieces of fusible interfacing. I'm using uh, fusible fleece today. You're going to need uh, for the cut of cotton for the center of the bow a zipper clips or pins, coordinating thread, your sewing machine, the zipper foot on your sewing machine, as well as your normal presser foot, and some cutting scissors. Um, and a little bit of time. So let's get started. First thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to fuse my fusible fleece to the wrong side of my exterior fabric. So I'm just going to line it up. If you are using um, something different, it is always a good idea to follow the instructions for adhering it. That is good. And 
Now, if you're, since there's no pattern pieces and you're measuring and cutting, if you are a little bit off on the fusible fleece and there's a little bit of overhang, you can always cut that off. All right, once that's done, you can set those pieces aside. Then you're gonna grab your small piece that's going to be used for the center of the bow to make the bow shape. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half. Make sure it's even. I'm gonna press. We're going to open it up and you're going to fold the edges right into the center. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew down each long side at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. You're going to top stitch it. All right, so I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to do that and I will be right back. All right, once that's done, you're going to press it to seal the seams. Then we're going to take it and with the raw edges on the outside, we're going to fold it in half like so. And then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew at a half of an inch seam allowance right where the raw edge is. So we're just going to do half an inch seam allowance there and I will be right back. All right, now that that is done, okay, you get something like this. We're gonna press that seam that we just did. Okay, and then we're also going to cut the seam allowance down to about a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to fold it right side out and now you've got your finished center for your bow just like that all right now you can set that aside and then you're going to take your two bow pieces and you're going to lay them right sides together with a solid print, it doesn't really matter. Make sure they're aligned. And we're gonna take it, we're going to clip it along the long top and the long bottom edge.
right, just like that. And then we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to backstitch really well at the beginning and the end of each seam. Remember, we're only sewing the top and the bottom and we're going to use a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to do that and I will be right back. All right, now that that is done, you're going to come through and press your seam that you just made. And we're going to take it and we're going to fold it right side out. Roll the seam. Oh, this doesn't want to roll. Sometimes you get fabric that rolls so nicely and then other times nothing. Alright, once you get the edges rolled, press them to make them nice and neat. Now that you've gone ahead and done that, we're going to take our little tube that we made. We're going to scrunch one side up and feed it through the tube. Careful you don't get any of the back fabric into the front. that and then we're going to set that aside. Next we're going to take our exterior panel. Okay, um, you're going to pick whichever one you want to be the front. I'm going to do this one. Get some clips out. Take the bow you just made. You're going to fit it to the sides of the front panel. Just like that. Then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to baste right along that outer edge. All right, so I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. Okay, um, and now that that is complete, we're going to place that to the side. And then we're going to get our lining pieces. 
Um, I already went ahead and did it, but with your lining pieces, you're gonna wanna fold the top edge down half of an inch on both lining pieces. And then we're going to attach them to the zipper. So you're gonna take your zipper and you're going to lay it so that the zipper is face down on your left. You're gonna lay it right down, right against the seam of that zipper. If you want, you can use double-sided tape here to keep it. I'm just going to use a few pins. You're going to do this to both sides of the um, lining. It is okay if the zipper is too long. Make sure that they are aligned. And we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew as close to the zipper as you can. Okay, um, it's usually about an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch. So once you do that to both sides, make sure you backstitch really well at the beginning and at the end. I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. Now that that is done, um, you can go ahead and you can press the seam um, if you want to. I already, did, I already did the other side, so I'll do this one. Just make it so that everything seals nicely. All right. And then you're going to flip it over. And you're going to attach your top panels the same way. All right, so we're going to take them and on your top edge, make sure you've got the top edge, you're going to fold over half of an inch and press. All right, roll them up half of an inch all the way across on both panels. Now this is gonna be a little bit more difficult on this side because you have the fusible fleece. Um, a great tip, you can um, cut the top of the fusible fleece down half of an inch so that when you are turning it over, you're only turning um, the fabric over when you do this. Come back to the zipper and you're going to put the zipper so it is right side facing. And you're going to attach it this way in the exact same manner that you attached the, um, the lining panel. Make sure if you can line up the lining panel with the edges of the top. If it's a little bit off, it's okay. But just a little bit, a little bit of force into that. It's okay. 
All right, so we're gonna pin all the way across and then we're going to attach um, both sides like we did. So I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna do that. Make sure you backstitch really well at the beginning and at the end. And you're gonna want um, the stitching to be as close to the zipper as possible. It's usually about um, a fourth of an inch or an eighth of an inch, um, depending on which one you can do, depending on your presser foot. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. Okay, now that that is done, we're going to just iron the seam. That way everything melts. Toasty. If you see any wrinkles or anything that you want to take care of now, you can do that as well. All right. Um, what I'm going to do next, since the zipper is a little bit longer than the bag, is I'm going to pull the bag open just a little bit. And then with a needle and thread, right along the edge of the fabric, I'm going to poke it through the zipper. And we're going to sew the edge together here. just so that we don't have the zipper pull falling out when we're finishing up the bag. Just like three times as good. All right, when you're done, just knot it off. And then you're also gonna wanna do the same thing to the other end of the bag. Okay, once that's done, you can come and you can cut the excess off. open almost all the way three quarters of the way open and then you're going to take your two outer pieces and fold them together make sure that your lining piece is out of the way and you're going to want to align it with each other. And you're gonna want to pin or clip all three edges. So make sure these edges are even. Make sure over here is even. It's gonna be kind of weird because you got the bow there, but it'll be okay. So we're going to sew around the edges. Um, but before we do that, we're going to fold the lining bottom up a quarter of an inch.
and we're going to press it. It's just going to make when we seal the bag um, a lot easier. So we're going to fold it up a quarter of an inch. This is not in the instructions, but I find that this makes it so much easier when you're finishing up the bag. Alright, we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Then you're going to want to pin the lining pieces together. Now when you do the lining piece, you are only sewing the edges. Okay, and then you're going to take this to the sewing machine. And you're going to start at one side, backstitch really well at the beginning and at the end. And you're going to sew at a 5 8 inch seam allowance all the way down the lining. As you approach your zipper, you're going to decrease it to a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and sew all around the outer bag. And then when you get back to the zipper, increase it slowly to 5 8 of an inch and then finish off the bag. All right, I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. Um, another good thing that you can do is when you get to the zipper, you can backstitch um, over the zipper as well just so that it doesn't come loose. Um, like I said, I'm going to go do that, and I will be right back. All right, that is now done. And next, we open it up. Uh, well, actually, here. You can actually clip the corners a little bit to make it a little bit more squared for you. All right, now <laughs> you can take it. And flip it right side out. Use the end of a chopstick or the dull end of the scissors. Take it over to the sewing machine. Quickly top stitch the edge of the opening and then we will be pretty much done. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. All right, now that that is done, it's time to shove it back into the bag. Poke the corners. Now there's a great opportunity um, with this bag. Also, you can stick a little um, pocket in here and everything, but voila, isn't that so cute? Now, if you've got some wrinkles and everything, you, of course you can't come along and, and give it a, a press. Just watch out for the bow. You might flatten the bow a little bit. I'm just Lightly pressing it because sometimes when you turn it right side out, it likes to wrinkle a little bit. We 
are done. Not too complicated of a bag whatsoever. Incredibly cute and fun. Um, great little, little clutch to hold. I'm super excited to use this. Um, if you haven't noticed, yes, it is for me. <laughs> and then, you know, you've got a nice good space in here to put a, a wallet or your phone or hand sanitizer, um, anything like that. Uh, super fun. I'll have a link in the description box below for you guys. All right, until next time. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, leave a comment in the comment section down below and give the video a thumbs up. Until next time, see ya!